So the purpose of this video is for you to understand that you can make a delicious meal in under 30 minutes. I don't claim to be the best chef or cook or any of that, but we can make things with just the things we have lying around the house. And in this case, I wanted to make a pasta dish that I like to make, and I'm not a big pasta guy, but I do enjoy pastas when they have just olive oil and you know feta cheese and things of that nature. In this case, we decided to make a shrimp dish with some rotini pasta that we had lying around. The pasta was placed in the pot with some boiling water. As soon as the water was at its boiling point, we dumped in the box of rotini. We boiled it on high for about seven minutes. That's how quickly, you know, we put three quarters of the way of boiling water. We just stir it so it doesn't stick. I mean, this is pretty simple stuff that pretty much anybody can put together. And then we had some potatoes that we had boiled and we decided we would make a side of sliced um, potato wedges. So pretty simple, the shrimp is sauteing on medium um, with vegetable oil and some garlic. Limes will also be featured this evening. Oh my God, I can't believe it's not butter. Has anyone ever told you put a lid on it? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Checked in on the shrimp, made sure the shrimp was looking good. We're sauteing at a medium low, uh, letting it kind of sit. More than anything else, we didn't really want it to be super sauteed. We added a tablespoon and a half of butter, of we can't believe it's not butter, and just kind of blended it in, softened it up, gave it a little flavor. Aside from using the minced garlic, and later when it was on the dish, we added the lime, as you'll see. Then we put the pasta on the, I say we, but it was me. I put the pasta on the plates, made sure to even evenly distribute, added some feta crumbles because feta crumbles are delicious on salads and pastas, in my opinion. I've never been a fan of the red sauces or the creamy sauces on pastas. I mean, I've had the creamy stuff before. It's okay, I guess. But for some reason, I just really enjoy a nice pasta with some olive oil, some feta cheese, and as you'll see here, some cut cilantro. I'm generous with my cilantro amounts on my dish. For my wife, I went a little lighter because she's not a big cilantro lover. She's okay with it. She deals with it because I'm cooking and she doesn't have to. And I am generous with the feta cheese and the cilantro. So we sliced it up. I added the shrimp. You'll notice here that I'm pretty good at the distribution, making sure that it's equal. I bet you if you counted each shrimp, I would be either off by one or two in my favor. Ha <laughs> ha. Sliced up the lime, softened it up by rolling it around. That was an old party trick I learned. And then just uh, generously uh, squeeze each half to each dish. We made some tostones. We didn't really know what we wanted to do for sides. Again, this is a quick 30 minute meal and it was with stuff we just had lying around. Look how good this looks. Delicious little baked potato wedges with some tostones. Uh, we didn't go crazy and just stuff our faces with everything. What I like to do is have options on the table. So my wife had one or two tostones. I had one or two tostones and uh, then we had some wedges. But here we have uh, a hometown favorite here at the house. It's a delicious riced cauliflower. Uh, we try not to have a lot of rice. I diced up some tomatoes to add to the rice cauliflower. Uh, I was gonna put it originally on the pasta, but I decided that'd be too much. What I like to do is leave whatever else I was cooking in it prior. Uh, so that it adds flavor to it and mix it up. Add a little bit of uh, cooking spray and some adobo. Um, a little garlic, minced garlic goes a long way. It could be like a rice substitute. Um, it tastes really good. Most most people I know 
have it mostly when they're fasting or trying to eat healthy and not have the rice. I added some tomato wedges and some cilantro to it just to try to be like my brother Dejo, who is really beautiful with the presentation. Look at this, how delicious this looks. And this is what it looked like after we added the cilantro, the feta cheese, the olive oil, and a little bit of sea salt that you didn't see me put in, and the shrimp. And this for two people is pretty good. So we threw the stuff on the table. My wife went to pick up our baby at grandma's house, and by the time she was back, this meal was pretty much prepared. And we tore it up in under 30 minutes.